free your mind. Okay, so I'm doing this geode today. It's fairly thick as this one, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to start off with a clear cut at the bottom. Because I'm using the um, glass in this to make it look like real stones. Just making sure it gets in all the corners. Set that aside for a moment. I think I'm going to start on the outside with these blue ones. I think it's going to be better if I get a pair of tweezers. Well, there's a lot of uh, faffing about. And some of you won't be able to do this. It's better to take more time on it and have it looking right rather than just throw them all in there. I think that's just me. Or is it? bit awkward with these gloves on. Would be okay if I could pick them up properly, but I can't. Maybe I should just uh, the gloves really stick it, so I'm going to take the glove off. Right, so after I've said I'm going to place them in nicely, I've just decided to overturn that. I'll just tidy them up in a minute. I think it may have been a bit of dust off the glove. Alright, don't do that kids. Right, I'm going to mix with this, this blue here. Just going to put some resin into it. some of this pigment. Sorry I couldn't find a small spoon. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right. Oh, spilt it. These little round cups are okay but they're not very stable. Well, not if you've got hands like a midwife, like I have. Put a bit more in there, I think. 
plenty of pigment in there. Yeah, these stirring cups are a bit small for me. It's small for anyone really. It's going to look like, well, the colour's going to look like rather. I want to use these other stones. Greenish colour. Get a bit of resin in again. I'm not going to need that much this time. I've got some gold leaf here. I'm going to push this down further down at the front. So the bottom mold is the front. Don't want too much. Um, I'm going to use a white gold. Don't need much of it. the stick and using the other end. Why not? As you can see the white has a, a gold cast of it. I really like this stuff. In fact I'm going to put a bit more resin in this one. Gold. Just doing a thin line. To separate the two colours of stones. Not perfect, but that'll do. This way, also, it looks like natural lines that you see on a natural geode. I'll just mix a bit more up. 
There's still a bit left in here, but I just want to make sure it doesn't look uneven. I'm wiping these sticks as I go along because that way I can reuse them. The reason I'm using uh, these silicone cups, although they're, they're not the best size for me, is the fact that I can reuse them. I'm cutting down on single use plastics. probably just sunk to the bottom which is going to be the top and all I want to do now is just top this up a little as usual with the clear resin it always moves some of the colour which is what I want to make a little more natural. I'm really filling this one up. It's the glass where I can see. That's looking pretty good now, is that? I can't see any bits sticking out, apart from maybe the, the gold. Should give it a bit of a 3D look. That looks to be filled right to the top almost. Yeah, it's starting to dull now, which I want. That way there's less to um, less to file down later or sand down later. a bit of uh, gold into this lighter blue
Now that is really domed now. I think I might be able to leave that there. I just don't want to put too much in and then just ruin it all. Actually I think I can get a tiny little bit in here. And a little swirl. And I think that one's it. That's that. Get a quick torch to get rid of the bubbles. That's enough. And I'll say that one's finished and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Also, don't forget I'm the UK representative for Lorez pigments. They come in powders and pastes. I will be putting the website up soon. Okie dokie, 48 hours later. This is uh, how it's turned out. As you can maybe see, I filled it right up to the top and it was doming. So I should have no short parts, or if I do, then it'd just be ones what I can get rid of, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. So, as you can see, there's no, well, very little. I'd say there's a tiny little bit there. But the rest of it seems to have domed, which is good. I quite like that one slap on the other side. Oh. Mmm. Certainly different. Right. Ah, right. It's just come to me what it is. It's a pieces of glass what I've put around. The glass is not really shown through there. You can see possibly it's a bit translucent. Um have I a torch? Yeah, as I say you can actually see the stones through. Quite like that because if if I were to get something, I don't know, maybe if I were doing a table or something, you could see it like that, and then when we put the light underneath, it shows something like that. Oh, quite happy with that one, really. So you should be able to see the colours now. I'm trying to show you the colours without getting too much reflection. Things like this was done in day. <laughs> Best done in daytime. So you avoid, avoid things like that. So I quite like this one, I do. And when you get something out of a mould and it's so shiny as this and so Oh, what can I say? So glass like, really. It's a fantastic feeling. Alright, so that is it. Okay, so just finishing this off with the gold Posca pen. And it's going on nicely as well. No problems with it. So when I finished it, I'll show you what it's like. This mould is now finished, or this coaster's finished rather. And I, I really like this one. The coaster is really thick. It's quite substantial. And it's, I think it's turned out really well. Um, 
So as you can see the sheen is like glass, which I'm very happy about. So I'll try and give you some close-ups. But before that, this is the resin what I'm using, as I've said previously. And this is where you get it from. I suggest you do try it because it's really good. It's craft dash resin dot co dot uk or craft hyphen resin dot co dot uk if you want to get a bit technical about it but yeah i definitely recommend this stuff and uh, don't forget the 10 percent 